Online class for kids. The beauty of flowers fascinates a lot of people. Its color is appealing and entertaining to look at. It comes in many shapes and sizes. Let me tell you more about the parts of a flower. A flower is the part of the plant that blossoms. They often appear brightly colored and smells nice. A flower produces seeds that can become new plants. Let's go through the parts one by one. The first thing you notice are the petals. They are the large colorful parts. Apart from their colors, their shape and smell help attract insects or pollinators like the bees. The sepal is the green colored part beneath the petals to protect rising buds. Now let's have the stamen. It is the male reproductive part of the flower. Its main function is to produce pollen which attracts insects. A stamen has anthers. <laughs> which store the pollen and filaments which support the anther. The pistil is the female reproductive part of the flower. It receives pollen grains during pollination. The pistil has three parts, say, stigma, style, and ovary. What I'm showing you right now is the stigma. Stigma is a sticky surface that holds pollen particles, which it receives during pollination. Stigma is responsible for beginning the process of fertilization. Next is a style. Style carries the pollen particle to the ovary to enable fertilization. The ovary holds the undeveloped seeds called ovules. Ovules are the part of the flower where the seed formation takes place. At this place, pollination is complete. Let's review. Did you remember anything? Alright, see the following. The parts of the flowers are petals, sepal, stamen, anthers, filaments, pistil, stigma, style, ovary, and ovules. Can you repeat them?
Very good! Well done! I hope you had a wonderful time learning about the different parts of a flower. See you next time for another fun of learning only here at Online Class for Kids. Visit onlinetestforkids.com for more fun learning videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.